Hello there guys, welcome to Dave's Easy Tutorials. This tutorial is to set in the proofing options. Now we've already done the proofing and you bring the little spell checker up. Notice when she, once you get your spell checking up you can then come down to this options here. Now if you click on the options that will then go and open the options dialog box and then you can set them up but I've got to show you how to do it without that box as well so if you go to the file tab the backstage view come down to the options and then you get the little options box come up you come down to the category of proofing and then you notice here you've got all the options for your spell check now Come here, when correcting spelling in Microsoft programs, ignore words in uppercase. If you want it to do that, put a tick on. So it's literally what you want to do. Ignore words that contain numbers, ignore internet internet and file addresses, uh, flag repeated words, which you do want, you know. Then you come down here and it, it is pretty much what you want it to do. Now if you want if you've got custom dictionaries um, you can click on this and you can tell it to use custom dictionaries because some uh, companies use a lot of abbreviations things like that so they would have a custom dictionary you just turn it on or turn it off whichever you wanted to do um, pretty easy stuff then you've got French and Spanish modes down here when correcting spelling and grammar in word this only affects word check spellings as you type use contextual spelling, mark grammar errors as you type, check grammar with spelling, well that's the little checkbox that I've already showed you, writing styles, grammar only, or you can set your settings. Now these, what you'll usually find with these is the company set these up, but it is literally a, a choice of you going around and just literally putting a tick in and a no, non-tick way you don't want them but you need to go and have a little look and see what you want to set up and what you don't um, grammar can be a little bit ambiguous with certain companies but you just go through and, and set if you go through and set everything and then you decide you didn't want it you just say reset all and it'll just reset all for you and take it back to default for you on that one further down here I'll just have to lift this box up a little bit then you've got um, recheck the document now once the document has been checked and you've corrected what you want that it's usually that's it but you can come in here and say recheck and what that'll do is that'll say this operation resets the spelling checker and the grammar checker so that the, the word will recheck the document and the grammar you just say yes to that and then you can go and recheck the document down here you've got a apply uh, sorry hide spelling errors in the documents that's the little red wavy line and you can hide the grammar errors in the document that's the little green underline me personally I like to see them because I'm not saying it's correct it's prompting you to look uh, and it's prompting you to check the document as well so to me I would leave it on now you've also got this auto correct option here You've, I've already gone through the autocorrect, but this was designed for spelling errors. So if you repeatedly type the word the, T-E-H, notice automatically the computer will correct it with T-H-E as you press the space bar. And you can put anything you want in here. You know, it, you might have it, uh, for instance, that you say, right, oh, then I'm going to say Dave, because I do tend to call myself uh, Dave, and replace it with David. Okay, so we'll add that in. We say OK. We say OK. Now, in the document, you say, um, Mr. Now, out of habit, I would just type Dave, but notice as a spell, as a touch space bar, it corrects it to David Bowron. So it, it is good, um, it is good, and it is designed for spelling. But you may want it, you may want to add words to the spell, uh, to the autocorrect 
and it might contain certain formatting you know now I'm just putting a little bit of formatting on here just to show you I'll change the font as well um, literally it might be something that you've got there like that now what you would do is you highlight it you go to options proofing autocorrect now notice here if I highlight the word or words in word I come in here I can take my pick now look so I can literally say replace now MDB for Mr David Bowron and I want to replace it with plain text so it would just say Mr David Bowron or formatted text because I've already got it in the document that's highlighted now if I say formatted text because that's what I want and then I say add it'll add it into the document now I say OK to that I say OK to that I'll just delete that well I won't delete that what I'll do is I'll bring a brand new document up now notice in here imagine I'm typing a letter blah 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 you know and then I finish my document uh, MDB was what I wanted to type bingo look at that straighting and the formatting as well because that's what we said on the document so these are so powerful these these are really powerful stuff it's just understanding how they're working now don't forget it is designed for spelling errors that's what the autocorrect was for and you'll find that there is a lot of them already in place so you need to have a little look through and see what you've got in and see what you haven't got in but any word that you spell consistently incorrect put it in here and there's there's so many in this new version it, you have to go through and see what's what that's why it, it does already do a lot of corrections as you type in now me personally because I read a lot of books and most of the books I read are American it, I tend to spell American because I read American a lot so I would put the American spelling here and the English spelling there and then as I'm typing as I touch space bar it just goes through uh, but you need to have a little look absolutely fantastic yeah um, and that's you you're setting your options up in uh, the word in the options dialog box and that I would like to say thank you very much for your time don't forget to check my other videos out uh, if you subscribe with our channel we do do requests so if you've got anything that you're having a problem with or if you want to know how to do a particular task like mail merge or, or tables or anything like that just subscribe with us drop us an email and we will do you a video just as soon as we can thank you bye